I found something this past week while I was actually going fishing with one of my friends. But I have a backpack that I use for a lot of my tackle, and inside of it, I found my scanner. I had lost this for like literally three months. You definitely don't need a scanner to go reselling, but today, we're about to head out and try to spend at least $1,500. That's the first goal, but I also have a friend who plays turf soccer, and I'm looking for a pair of shoes for him. And our third goal will be to ship out this eBay package and actually make some money. I don't have a plan for stores for today, so we're just kind of winging it, but I'm really hoping to swing by an academy I haven't been to yet, because if you watched my last video, I was able to spend almost $1,000 there alone at two different stores. So one thing that I've noticed as I've been out reselling is that stores seem to go through season. DJ Maxx and Walmart right now have been in a really bad season for me. Like I haven't been finding a lot of stuff there. And then other stores like Ross and Marshall specifically this last couple of weeks have been doing pretty good for me. An academy. Now I never let that go to my next couple of week decision making for what stores I go to because you never know when some of the stores are going to come into a better season. So let's hope DJ Maxx is better today. All right, let me preface this by saying that this is not something that I'm saying you should do. This would get me back $17 at the lowest possible price, and it's a $6 item. If you're sending something into Amazon, it has to be in perfect packaging. The packaging is essentially this little red bar, making sure that this is intact here, and that it has the stickers inside. All of that's gonna be true. I'm still comfortable sending that in, because it's still a new product. And what matters is the product itself. If the product was scratched because that was open, I would definitely not get it. But the only reason I'm comfortable doing that is these journals, Moleskins, come in poly bags. So when I take off this covering, it's still completely new. So all I have to then do is go ahead and put it in my poly bag. If this wasn't as beat up as it was, and there's just one or two small, tiny nicks or holes, I'll put this over this plastic rack. But because this was so beat up, I just put it in its new one. And now it's not gonna get damaged. But remember, I'm not telling you to do this. I'm just explaining my logic for picking this up. Okay, here's something else important. Recently been selling a lot more socks and looking into socks. And I tend to look at them based on brand. I hadn't seen this brand before. So I scanned it up to $1.50 but it would get back $3.86. But there's a catch. You see up here, it says two pair. Each of these is only one pair. I was about to pick these up, but then I realized it said two pair, and so make sure that you read what is actually on the Amazon listing, because instead of buying one for $1.50, I'd have to buy two for $3 and get back $3.86, and that's not worth it. Yeah, I knew I was forgetting something, and that was to pay off the credit card that I used to buy my inventory. I have all the money for it, I just haven't paid it off yet. That's why you keep your money at the same bank, because then I could just transfer it on the mobile app, and it'll already be available as credit. So remember when I was talking about seasons with the stores and TJ Maxx and stuff? I think I'm in that same season with Walmart, where it's not been super good for me. I was here with my sister, just buying some stuff randomly, and I stopped in the fishing section, because I went fishing last weekend, and I saw that this item was something that I could probably sell, and just buy at a normal price, and sell for profit. So let's scan it real quick. It doesn't look like it any Anymore. Maybe it was at this higher price when I last looked at it. And so I could buy it for 187 and sell it for 382. But they also have a bunch of different sizes. That was just one size. Let's check the other size real quick. Nope, not that one. Well, when I looked at it last, I was able to buy it and sell it for 100% profit. I might still be able to do that. I personally don't like picking something up and hoping for a higher price. I know that there's so much stuff that I can buy and know I can get a higher price and not have to wait too much. And since I try to stick to my budget, at least for now, as I'm trying to build this business in a sustainable way, I'm not gonna worry about buying that now. Shout out to White Moose for the idea of bringing reusable bags because I didn't grab a cart and I appreciate the suggestion. If there's anything else that you guys see that I'm doing that's pretty stupid, let me know in the comments. Well, that's never happened to me before. Heading into an area now where we might be able to find those shoes for my friend and see if we can spend and make a lot more money too. My Ross has been good for us. I've been spending about $100 average per Ross. It's all these straight from the jump. Look them up. Didn't see anything super stellar, but let's check it out real quick. First one, size 13, prime knit football shoes. Let's check the tag right there for that little number. They're $17. One sold May 3rd. Nope, not enough sold. These look pretty sweet. Uh -huh. Nope. One last thing. These little body glove things. I don't even know how to look these up. Beachcomber 2. Nothing. Not quite 100, just electronics right now. And there's one question that I've been getting a lot on these type of videos, which is how are you ungated in these different categories? Some people are asking, I guess, about like cleat, like Nike and Adidas. I'm not ungated in those. I just sell those ones on eBay. But in terms of electronics, uh, there's nothing special that I do. I have just been selling, and I know that as you sell more and you prove yourself to Amazon, sometimes they'll let you sell more and more things. But every time that I'm not able to sell something, I'll always request for approval. And I'll try to find something like that today to show you guys. But if they start asking for documents, obviously I don't have invoices to give them. But what I think happens is that your request stays on file and occasionally they might allow you to sell some products. That's what happened with me with Skull Candy is one day I was just in the store and I looked again to see if I was still restricted because I'll check every two weeks since I go every two weeks. And it said that I was able to sell stuff as new now. So I was like, great. And now I've been selling a lot of Skull Candy stuff and making a lot more money and being able to not get skunked at that store like I would have been before. I would prefer to not go through the hassle of getting those invoices because this is just something I'm trying to use to buy my time back. I want to be able to do something I'm truly passionate about like 
like making videos and helping people be smarter with their money. Eventually, hopefully you will get engaged in these categories. It just is going to take some time. I have been selling since September, so it's only been about nine months and I got engaged about a month ago in that. So if that tells you anything, I was at about $55,000 to $60,000 in total overall sales. Hope that helps and we're headed to a Walmart and let's hope that this is the same as the last one where we spent a buck 40. You just never know. Sometimes all the stores are the same and you find great stuff. Sometimes it's one Walmart that's great and the rest of them suck. Heck yeah. I first picked these up for seven bucks and made double my money. I don't think this will fit in my reusable bag so I'm gonna have to actually grab a cart for all that. So just like I was talking about a second ago at the Ross, we're just gonna go onto the Amazon app real quick and scan these Lego things. Obviously Lego is notoriously hard to get ungated in and a lot of people will use invoices and stuff. I'm just gonna request. It said requested for approval if you notice here. Requested for approval past tense so I've already done it so that's why I think that they keep it on file and we'll just hit request approval again. I don't have that so I just exit out of it and don't worry about it and then hopefully since that's on file if I eventually get like automatic approval or whatever they call it it'll just become ungated for me. Just under three hours in, just over $300 spent. We're definitely gonna have to pick up the pace if we want to get to that $1,500 by eight o'clock. But now let's go make some money real quick and then hopefully that academy that we're headed to will have a lot of stuff like the last couple. At least $400 would make us very happy. Just gonna make a quick pick stop here at the Ross before we head to the academy because there's an academy and a Marshalls down there and I just like to go in order. Still couldn't find the turf shoes. No shoes to sell even. Two Rosses and no shoes. That's not good for today. Hey, if you're looking for deals on Gugon, got it for three bucks here at the Ross. Maybe they know that they have resellers here. Skunk, dude. That sucks. $300 at Academy will make up for it. Be good to us, please. Oh, yes. This is where the scanner is going to come really in handy. I just need to hold on to my phone and then scan everything else, and I can just look rather than having to put my phone up and do it like that. One other thing to note, too, is the scanner on these ones that aren't under plastic normally will work. On these ones that are under plastic, normally it'll just say that nothing shows up. But if you're wondering, always just go with the one that's on the item. So my scanner died, as you saw at the end there, I was having to use my phone again. And that's just because I was too silly to actually recharge it after I found it. But it made everything so much faster at the beginning. There are so many of these items that like I could pick up for $3.48, get back $5 or so. They're just under that 50% that I'm comfortable with. I'm really hoping to eventually get to a point in my business where I'm not worried too much about 100% profit margin because I have excess inventory money. Hopefully this YouTube channel can help get to that point sooner as well but we did get a good amount of things here you always got to remember when you're looking at these ones or something like it to check the UPC to make sure that that number there will match barcode on the back of your item otherwise like I've done in the past you'll end up buying some stuff that is way too high of a price get through the rest of the store hoping we have around hundred dollars in there now gotta grab a cart two weeks ago we made a guess about how much we were gonna be spending overall that was twelve dollars off on like a five hundred and sixty dollar purchase so we're gonna try to get closer than twelve bucks today I'm gonna say three sixty two ninety one 558.67. Very wrong on my price guess, but that's okay. That just means we spent almost $200 more than I thought we were going to. A little worried that some stuff was wrong up wrong. Normally I can watch as it's being wrong up, but this time I was having to put stuff on the desk, especially when I'm buying like tons and tons and tons of stuff. That can happen. And if something was like not the price that I want it to be, the beautiful thing is I can just come back and return it. I've had that happen a couple times. And if I'm not watching something, sometimes it'll happen. And I'd rather just not deal with the hassle of looking through everything right now and just keep on selling. We'll make plenty of money either way. It is interesting the different reactions people have when I tell them that I sell stuff. What do you do with all that stuff? I sell it on Amazon. You sell it on Amazon online? Yeah. Some people ask a lot of questions. Some people think you're doing something wrong. Doesn't matter. Make your money. I was in that academy for almost an hour and a half. It's not bad. An hour and a half to make $550. Maybe like 80% profit margin. Maybe you only make $450. Oh no. That glasses thing did not go as smoothly as I wanted it to. That's embarrassing. I like when the stores get a restock because that means I get a restock. I'll tell you what, phone cases, other electronics, stuff like that. The price fluctuates so much, especially as like new models come out and everything. There were a couple of other phone cases in there that I sold before, but the price dropped from when I picked it up from around $30 to $9. Luckily, I sold out pretty fast. My average selling price was probably easily a 50 to 100% profit margin. All right, we haven't seen anything close today to what I need to get from my friend for the soccer cleats. Kind of am feeling like I'm not going to be able to find them, but we're going to hold out hope. I'm hoping that we can at least get over a thousand after this rock. It's only 4.30 now-ish, and we might be able to get done before that eight o'clock deadline, which would be great for my sleep patterns. All the same, 
take these ones and these ones and these ones. Nothing that I want though. One of my least favorite things is that this is art stock, which is all the way over there. And I had to come all the way over here just so I can get service to look it up. That was terrible. But it was a good example of two things. First, all the stores go in seasons. So apparently right now we're entering a season where Ross is gonna suck for me for a while. I'm still gonna go to them just to have less expectations. The other thing is that all this stuff is art stuff. And if you've noticed in the last three of my videos, I haven't bought any art stuff at all. And I don't do a lot of it, but I have purchased it in the past. And I know specifically that this brand is pretty good for me. And so because I literally didn't find anything else in the whole store, I would check out the art section since I haven't checked out in a while. So if some of your bread and butter items aren't working or your bread and butter categories, go check out something that you're not normally gonna do. I definitely hope that TJ Maxx has the opposite season as these Rosses have been having. And we start to come into a time where they have lots of stuff. It was just that one thing that I saw. This is the same thing as four weeks ago when I shot that other video. Doors have not been working out for me in this area lately. Let's grab some food and then head out to the cell phone zone of death. Hopefully I can find something to buy because I guarantee you that my phone will not work. I'm hoping that that jinxes it and that means that stuff will be there and my phone will work. Don't tell... I don't know who not to tell, but don't tell them. Oh, yeah. Alright, fueled up, and I do think that for whatever reason, Burlington is gonna be a little bit of a wild card today. I don't know why I have that feeling. It's probably just the food talking. Me being full and happy. So Laura, I found a size four and a half. So if you want to shrink your feet from an eleven, that would be great. So finally found something good. Also, finally found something in the women's section of shoes. If you remember my last big reselling vlog in this one, I found some of these at a Marshall's, the first Marshall's that I went to, but I wasn't able to actually buy them because none of them had the spikes. Whew, just from today alone like six or seven sold at 60 or 70 bucks. So picking these guys up for $16.99. I have the spikes and I counted and they have all the spikes, probably 200% return on investment. That's why you always check all the parts of the store. I say after having not checked all the parts of the Ross. I don't know, do whatever you want. Still not even over a thousand bucks with this. That sucks, man. We might not be able to get done by eight o'clock because I'm not going to any other stores that I think will be killer today, but you never know. All right, Mr. Ross, don't suck again. At this point, grabbing this cart just feels a little hopeful. Man, I must have just come out the wrong day. Look at how bare these shoes are. See, see? I was right about this cart. Okay. Well, we're at least over a thousand bucks. 500 to go, 630. I think we'll have to be out here till the store is closed, unfortunately. But at least we're over a thousand. It's only been like seven hours or so. I guess I can be happy about that. So we have now entered the cell phone zone of death, which I talked about in my prepping video. Kind of doubtful that anything great is going to come out of these three stores. So I found a little pocket of signal and was able to look these up. They've been here for a hot minute, and so they knocked the price down to six dollars and fifty cents. They haven't sold a lot of them, but when they have sold, they sold for like forty bucks. And seven bucks can't hurt that much, especially if I'm going to make that forty. At least it wasn't like ten bucks, but still not. Great. I'm honestly wondering if we're gonna be able to finish this up today. Hope I can at least find some skull candy headphones because I've been selling and making a lot of money off the ones that I found at Burlington. Don't feel like I'll be able to look anything up though, unfortunately. Thank you. I need to get like a sting recorded for whenever I get skunked. There wasn't even anything that I wanted to look up there. That's how bad it was. I'm just gonna walk over to the alleys real quick. Hopefully not walk right back out because I have no service. Based on precedent, that kind of feels like what's gonna happen. Ooh. Oh, that's expensive. How much are these? Okay. Now I just have to pray that my phone works longer to come on. Service though. Of course now it doesn't want to work for me. Since I'm scanning all of these boxes, the guy just came up and asked if we had a restroom. How many times do you guys get asked if you work at a store or like just ask a question as if you do work at a store? I'm pretty sure I don't look like I work at a store. Done through a couple of boxes and I actually have been finding more stuff than I thought I would at Nollies and my phone's been working. You cannot imagine how happy I have been. This is actually a big learning lesson for me. I've looked at these before because they've been here for a hot minute, like months and months and months, maybe even since I've started reselling. But I scanned one of them before and was like, ah, they're not worth it because it was selling for pretty cheap. However, I realized that there are a bunch of different types of them. And one important thing to know is that different variations can sell at very different price points. So these ones, I'll get back $2.50 and they're only 99 cents. These rainbow ones are buck fifty nine. They sell for the same price, but they have less fees, so I'll get back five dollars on those. So I'm picking a bunch of them up. The one thing to be wary of though, and I am aware of this, is that the price can drop to the lower prices that the other ones are selling at. So I'm just gonna keep my repricer off of it if I see that they're dropping in price, and then eventually price it down to those prices if it stays down there forever. Alright, I feel like I've spent a year in this store. Let's get out of here. So I'm stoked. So I was about to spend $148. I was overcharged six dollars for one lure. Instead of taking off the one lure, she just took 20% off my order. So it means we're a little further away from our totals, but I saved an extra $28 instead of just getting $6 taken off of my things. They don't freaking take it. Let's get to a Walmart. Had a good Walmart. We've had a bad Walmart. Hopefully this will be a good Walmart. All right, buddy. I believe in you. Does not look like a hundred bucks. Better than I thought it was going to be. Still only half of what I needed, but 
70 bucks is getting me closer. Just sucks how long we had to stay in the Ollie's because now two of the stores that I would be going to are going to be closed. I might still be able to swing by a TJ Maxx before I go to the next Ross and Walmart, but it looks like it's just going to be those two stores here on out until 11 o'clock. I really don't want to have to finish my sorting another day this week. A little later than I thought it was, so we're going to skip the TJ Maxx because I would have to be in and out of there in like five minutes. Still have over $250 left to spend for the day. Already past nine o'clock. That means all stores are going to be closing less than two hours, so not looking too confident that it's all going to get done today. Why didn't you guys tell me I put this on upside down? Stupid. Just one thing. All right, 18 bucks from closer. Oh, lost my mask in my car, so don't have time to look for it. Those are like 25, 30 minute lines. Honestly, kind of can't believe how stupid I am that my mask was here the whole time. Literally put it on my ears so that I could still have my headphone in. Keep it on because this Walmart is so close. Two stores in a row that I've done something dumb. This, then this. Gosh, good start, good start. Come on, clearance. So something sweet just happened. I totally didn't film it because I did not think that it was going to happen, but I found a bunch of these. They're selling for 150 here they're selling for like 12 bucks on amazon you get six dollars back but it's a grocery thing and i don't sell grocery but i've requested before and then i saw that i was still restricted so i went back on and look it says congratulations your application has been approved based on your past selling history it means apparently now i should be able to sell these guys so let's scan them again real quick pack of one 11.2 ounce canister so it is this this correct item right here low price 12.98 and now we look at restrictions oh it still says i can't sell it okay an error occurred. It's weird that it's not saying that I'm automatically approved. I'm actually gonna buy these. Since it said that I was approved, hopefully by the time I get home, the server will go through or something. Worst case scenario, I buy 11 of these and I have to return them and it's 15 bucks. It's not a big deal. Hey, I'm really dumb. I don't know why I didn't think of this. Probably just because I'm an idiot. There's a Best Buy date on it. Two and a half years ago. Glad I got approved for grocery. Make sure that you check the expiration date. Unfortunately, I already packed one of these in a different shipment. Luckily, I didn't complete the shipment yet. So I'll just delete it out of the shipment. Really glad I looked at that. All of these will be returned to Walmart. Try not to judge me too hard for that one. Back to me in the past. One and a half more Walmarts at that rate, and we'll actually be at our 1500. Not too confident about this Ross, especially because we're in a really touristy area of town. A lot of tourists do a lot of shopping. Two pair of pretty cool looking shoes. I don't think either of them are worth a ton. These ones are .2 Adidas shoes. If you watch this video, then you'll know what that means. Ooh, these are .2s as well. Let's go see if we can find a spot that has some service. And I genuinely don't know if this exists, but if any of you guys know that anything that like boosts signal, please let me know. 65, 65, 65. They haven't sold in a while though. Check these other ones. That's gonna be a no for both of these. They look so cool though. My lack of service has definitely not helped my time constraint. Just check the electronics and bounce. Don't think that Burlington is open. Let me check. It doesn't have the hours on it. Driving by, it said 12 a.m. Sorry for the people who work here, but hopefully we can spend a buck 50. Yay, so many things. Oh, we failed all of our goals today. Getting to $1,500 by eight o'clock getting to $1,500 at all, and finding those tour shoes for my friend. But luckily, we'll be able to get started again tomorrow when I get done with counseling. And now we got a Ross here and a TJ Maxx over there. I'm really hoping that we'll be able to get our $125 spent within the next hour or so. Oop, definitely that didn't need that car. Welcome to a Florida early afternoon. All right, looks like we're doing these intros from the car now. How much protein do you need? Look at the size of this thing. Hey, real quick, check this out. I'm in the, the pet section right here, and I just picked up all of these little flyer discs. If I was to have scanned these, as you can see, and if I was to sell them for the right now buy box price, I would get back $5.08, and so after taxes on these, I would be losing money. But if you look at the FBA price, I would get back $10.46, which is just about 100% profit margin on this. So I am gonna buy these, there are six of them. The reason being, if I go to manage my own inventory, I have sold one of these. It sold within the last about seven days because I just picked this up and sent it in my last shipment. All of the FBA prices are at the $16 price point and that's what I sold mine for so I made 100% on it. If you go in and look at the competitive offers, you can see there's one for $9.45, someone just launched and then there's someone for $9.56. They have 88% positive reviews in the past 12 months with 56 total reviews. So I know that they're a seller who is probably at a similar level to me in terms of overall sales, which means they probably don't have a ton of inventory of these. I've been selling for about nine months and I have about 30 reviews. So even though it looks like I might not be able to sell these, if I just don't reprice them and keep them at least at a minimum price of like $14.99, I'll be able to make back 100% profit margin on them. And there's only six of them, so it's only a $30 investment. It's just one other instance where doing a little bit extra research might help you find something that you can make a lot of money on. Don't forget to keep your eyes open while you're in the aisle. Just like that, our rain is ah, it's still drizzling. Let's head home, hit up all the stores that we can on the way home because there's like six of them. If I can't spend $70 in like seven stores, I got a problem. Not bad looking. Look a little nicer with another $70 though. This could be the last store. Two cool things to check. These I have sold before. These ones I'm interested in checking out because they say fly knit on the inside there. And when it's a Nike shoe, if it has some sort of like their technology written on the shoe, it's normally a higher quality one. Oof. Yeah, that's gonna be a no. Yeah. 
50, 70. Oh yeah, that's a win for 20 bucks. They're super nice, they should sell relatively easily for around 60 to $100. Probably price them around 90 bucks with offers on. $20 down, we got another 45 to go in order to get out of this store and head home. Gonna be freaking close. Oh, just under $10 to go. Hopefully we can finally get that last 10 bucks spent. Looks like we did it. Awesome, now we're really quickly gonna package this up, ship it in, but that's actually gonna be in a different video, but stick around because now we're gonna talk about what all of this is actually worth when we ship it into Amazon and list it all on eBay. Obviously got all of these little salsa things to return. I have to return this as well because I realized that I bought one of them for $8, but this one was $11, even though it's the same exact item. I'm the same exact Marshalls. And I also have some stuff from Academy to return. This, Amazon just got on the listing and dropped the price. And then these are the thing that I said I was worried about in the Amazon parking lot, which is where they overcharged me. They charged the normal retail price, even though I made sure that the UPC correlated with one that was on clearance. Sometimes the systems just don't line up and I didn't ask them to go and check it because I wasn't watching it like I said. So because of that, here are our totals. As usual, the totals from all the stores are over there and you can just check that out. But overall, we spent $1,481.88. Profit on that should be an even $1,608. Obviously that's just potential profit, but it's kind of nice that it's a round number. And then the ROI is 108.51%, which is good. It's over that 100% that I want in all of my spending. The other thing that's really cool is that the total profit from Amazon is $1,532. I always like when Amazon's profits over how much we've spent overall, because that means that I'll be able to at least pay off all the inventory and eBay will stay kind of that emergency fund where it is now. Speaking of which, I just put out a video on how I search for shoes that I'm able to sell on eBay and you can watch that here. You can watch a playlist of all the other reselling vlogs that I've done right down here where we just go out for a full day and resell. If you're interested in being smarter with your money after you've made it, go ahead and watch this playlist down here. That'll be the basics of how to set up a budget, start investing, and to pay off all of your debt that you might have. Stay smart.